Hello, everyone, esteemed ladies and gentlemen, dear community. I warmly welcome you to this new video. It's great to have you back with us. Today, we're addressing a viewer request. I was asked, hey, you've already presented and reviewed the Mamosha and Luba in detail. Would it be possible for you to make another separate video about additional accessories, specifically Formula One or racing-related accessories that are compatible with the Luba? The person in question is considering giving the Luba a little more flair. I would say no problem. That's precisely why I've obtained the tuning stickers for the Mam Ocean Luba today, a rather small package. I'm very excited to see what we can expect from these stickers today, and of course, I'm particularly curious about how the robotic lawnmower will look with these stickers. I hope you're equally excited. So let's get started. But as usual, if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to this channel for free and activate the bell notification so that you won't miss any future videos. You can find the current prices of the device and the stickers in the video description below. And now, let's get started! I assume that those of you who actively follow this channel are already familiar with this device because it's extremely impressive and distinct. We're talking about the new Memotion Robotic Lawnmower, specifically the Luba model. For those of you who are not familiar with it, I definitely recommend watching the video about it. I'll link it up here on the top right corner of the info card because, as I mentioned, it's truly an incredibly ingenious and striking device. However, today we're not focusing on the lawnmower, but as I mentioned, on the viewer's question regarding the tuning stickers for this lawnmower. And that's exactly what we're going to take a detailed look at in today's video. Well, one could argue that the tuning stickers for the Luba are equally quite unnecessary because they don't provide any real benefits. They're simply a nice visual addition. This means that for those of you who find your Luba a bit too plain, you can spruce up your robotic lawnmower with these stickers. And that's what we're going to explore in today's video. The question then arises, what accessories do we need to attach the stickers to our Luba? First and foremost, we need the actual lawnmower itself, then the optionally available stickers, as well as a few cleaning wipes, silicone remover to eliminate any stubborn dirt on the device, a small application squeegee, and I also have a utility knife and some adhesive tape with me. So now that you have the necessary accessories, it's important that we don't perform the installation or application of the stickers outside, meaning neither here on the lawn nor in the yard because outside we have too many external factors, such as wind at the moment. This means there are pollen flying around, small flies, and so on. Additionally, we should avoid doing it in direct sunlight. That's why we're now moving inside to the workshop to take a look at the installation. Once we've arrived in the workshop, I'd say let's first see what we actually get when we choose the Mamotion stickers. As mentioned, the product box is extremely compact, very small, so I don't think there's anything else included apart from the stickers in this case. And that's exactly how it is. We get the individual stickers from the product box, and that's it. In practice, this means that Memotion provides us with a total of six stickers. As mentioned, there's no user manual or anything like that included. That's why I had to double check where exactly the stickers are supposed to be placed on the Luba. I must say, in terms of craftsmanship, they make a good impression, as well as the visual design. The black and red colors naturally go well with the white Luba. I'm very curious to see how it will look when the stickers are actually applied to the device. But before we can start applying stickers to the lawnmower, it's important to prepare the surface first. This means that the robot has been outside for quite a while, and the surface is naturally quite dirty. We have the typical dirt, such as sand, pollen, and even bird droppings in some places. We need to completely remove these, so we'll use a normal damp cloth and clean the surface with plain water. So far, so good. The Luba is now completely free of major dirt. What remains are the oils, grease, wax, silicone, and everything else that can't be dissolved with plain water. You can see it particularly well in this light. When I touch it, I have these typical greasy streaks on the surface, and the stickers won't adhere to that. 
That's why we need to repeat the same procedure, but this time with an appropriate cleaner. It's recommended to use either a silicone remover or another surface cleaner. However, it's important not to use a too strong solvent or test it on a non-visible area to see how the solvent or cleaner behaves. So, we'll use a typical cleaning cloth, dampen it slightly with the cleaner, and test how the cleaner behaves on a non-visible area, for example, in the lower handle area. And if the surface tolerates the cleaner well, meaning we don't see any other processes that would damage the surface, then we can easily degrease the lawnmower completely with it. Next, we proceed with the application of the stickers. Very important, as mentioned before, we are indoors, which means we don't have direct sunlight. Additionally, we don't want any wind or anything similar that might blow additional particles onto the surface in between. Also very important, we should have temperatures above 10 degrees Celsius so that we can apply the stickers properly to the surface. To know where the stickers should go and how they look afterward, it's recommended to place the stickers on the luba beforehand to see how everything looks and where the stickers need to be positioned to fit completely. We have a luba sticker with the luba lettering where I can see the two punched out letters B and A were not properly removed. That means we'll have to try to remove them somehow later on. Then we have the second lettering, Luba, which goes on the front bumper, and then we have additional stickers that will be positioned on the right and left sides. So, let's start with the middle sticker. In terms of structure, they're all identical and comparable to typical stickers that we know from cars. This means that on the back, there's the backing paper. Typical paper in this form where the stickers are mounted, either in black or in red, and on top of that, the transfer film. It's a slightly textured film that allows us to position it accordingly so that we can see exactly where the final stickers will stick. So, now we begin by removing the backing paper here at the back and also immediately determine the position with the help of a piece of tape. This means we fix the position on one side using tape. Then we remove the backing paper from the back and in this case, the stickers themselves should remain adhered to the transfer film. Always peel them off carefully and check if the stickers really stick to the transfer film and not to the paper. After removing the first part of the backing paper, we slowly start positioning the sticker at the bottom, making sure it's nicely centered. As you can see, if you happen to place it incorrectly, you can carefully peel off the sticker. So we start with the positioning at the bottom, nicely centered, and in a straight line towards the top. That looks good, and we lightly fix it in place. Next, we work our way up, piece by piece. This means I remove the backing paper, making sure not to peel off the stickers or anything like that, position it, and then gently press the stickers down at the same time. So now, the first sticker is already applied, and we use the application squeegee to fully mount the sticker to the luba. This means pressing out the air or any gaps from the center towards the edges. The tricky part is that we also have the individual elements that are supposed to be cut out included. We'll have to try to remove them carefully later on, but for now, let's firmly press down the sticker and then remove the transfer film. Oh yes, that looks good! The first sticker is now on the luba and I must say it's visually very appealing. The only downside we have here is that the small elements that were supposed to be cut out are also sticking to the luba instead of staying on the backing paper as planned. That means we also need to carefully remove these elements afterwards. For this, it's recommended to use either a utility knife or a scalpel and very gently remove the elements with the fine tip. Be careful not to cut too deep into the material. We don't want to scratch the surface of the actual lawnmower. So, done and dusted, the first side is now completely removed, and I can tell you it's definitely a fiddly task. If the same happens to you where the elements are still present or not on the backing paper, make sure to allocate some extra time because this process takes time. And of course, it's inevitable that you may occasionally become inattentive and accidentally damage the material with the utility knife. I believe that can't be avoided in the end. Alright, that's it. I did it. All the stickers are now fully applied to the luba. I must say, if you're not someone who applies stickers daily or wraps cars, then it naturally takes a while. I needed a little less than one and a half hours to apply all the stickers and remove all the small delicate pieces specifically from this front sticker. Overall, I can say it worked quite well. The stickers can be applied neatly and cleanly. 
Especially on the side, it's advisable to use a measuring tape because we don't have fixed markings where the stickers should be placed. I took a distance of 2.5 centimeters here, the same on the other side, so that both stickers are symmetrical. In terms of appearance, I have to say that the stickers make a really great impression. So, as I said, the Luba itself already looks quite sporty in its basic state, like a little race car in my opinion. But the stickers, of course, add the finishing touch, especially here at the front or on the side, which really nicely symbolizes the speed and racing car feeling. However, it's clear that the stickers don't actually change how the Luba mows. All in all, for those who find the Luba's basic appearance too dull, they can really spruce up the device with these stickers. Especially the two red elements here on the side and at the front really stand out. They're true eye-catchers. The question remains whether I should buy the stickers just to enhance the visual appeal of the lawnmower. That's debatable. But one thing is for sure, they do really look good. And that's about it for this video. Please feel free to leave a comment below and let me know what you think of the new look of the Luba. I'm very curious. And if you enjoyed the video, please show your support with a thumbs up to appreciate my work. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel for free and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Goodbye.